Venezuela's National Assembly unanimously approved on Friday the draft uh, organic law on the extinction of property. The president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, signed an update version of the national foreign policy concept with a focus on Western efforts to undermine Russia aided the Ukraine conflict. The death toll after the floor collapse at a Hindu temple in New Delhi, in New Delhi India, has risen to 36. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrero from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We'll be with the news. Stay with us. In Venezuela, on Friday, the draft organic law on the extinction of uh, property was unanimously approved by the National Assembly. The bill was uh, presented by the Deputy Diosado Cabello, who explained that the confiscation of property is a legal mechanism that allows the transfer to the state of ownership of assets uh, relating to activities considered criminal under the legislation against corruption, organized crime, uh, financing of terrorism, uh, money laundering, and illicit trafficking in uh, psychotropic substances and narcotics, even if no sentence has been passed in the corresponding criminal proceeding. The organic law on the extinction of property, which is made up of 46 articles uh, divided into four chapters, uh, preceded by the means of uh, the sentence uh, without consideration or the compensation of any kind. The Venezuelan Public Prosecutor's Office appointed three national prosecutors who will full competence the, the investigate, to investigate the serious events at corruption. The, the, uh, Corporación Venezolana de Guayana, CVG, an official source informed today. In his Twitter account, the Attorney General Tarek William Saab ratified the commitment of the body in their relentless fight against corruption. The National Anti-Corruption Police announced the day before the new arrests, this time in the Corporación Venezolana de Guayana. In Ecuador, the Legislative Administration Council of Ecuador's National Assembly decided on Friday to initiate impeachment proceeding against President Guillermo Lasso after the Constitutional Court approved the process. With six votes in favor and one abstain, abstention, uh, one against my part, and uh, the Commission approved uh, the motion and set up a Commission of Political Control and Analysis uh, that requests and suspend other processes. This parliamentary board uh, has a 30-day deadline to issue a report uh, to recommend an order, not the impeachment of the president, but it will be up to the plenary of the National Assembly to decide on the removal of the chief executive. The head of the parliament, Virgilio Saxiela, stressed the legitimacy of the procedure and assured that, uh, of course, in a strict observance of the constitution and the law. In an interview at Telesur TV show, the Enclave Politica, the member of the Ecuadorian National Assembly, Viviana Veloz, highlighted that President Guillermo Lasso does not recognize what the Constitution says. The President of the Republic does not recognize what the Constitution says. He does not recognize the oversight power that we legislators have, and he wants us to oversee the Constitution, something that is totally wrong. The President is subject to political control, and the Assembly has been carried out an extensive audit of the different branches of the state, including the President of the Republic, for his incompetence and ineffectiveness. The Ecuadorian legislator also added impeachment against President Guillermo Lasso is a symbol of millions of Ecuadorians and a triumph of the forgotten majorities. That is why I can tell you that this impeachment is a symbol of millions of Ecuadorians. It is a triumph of the forgotten majorities, of the people who see with despair and disappointment that they do not find opportunities in this country and they have to leave the country, or those mothers who, when they go to the hospitals, do not find medicines. Brazilian President Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva will travel to China between April the 11th and the 14th after the postponing his visit to Beijing last week due to a mill uh, pneumonia. 
according to the sources from the Plantan Planalto Palace Chinese authorities confirmed this Friday that the dates are in line with President Xi Jinping's agenda. Among the president's objectives will be to defend the relations built with Brazil's largest training partner on the extent to sell of Brazilian products to the Asian Giant. During his visit, the government expects to sign 20 bilateral agreements, including the exchange of semiconductors technologies. 5G6E and the construction of a satellite by both countries that will allow to monitor the Amazon's rainforest deforestation. Let's take a very short break now, but remember you can now follow us on our TikTok account as well as in English, in which you will be able to see news in different formats, news updates, and more. Stay tuned for more news. Welcome back to From the South. The President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, has signed an updated uh, version of the nation's uh, foreign policy concept but with a focus on uh, Western efforts to undermine uh, Russia and uh, the Ukraine conflict. Putin explained that a key document had to be modified due to drastic changes in the international lab state. The move was announced on Friday during a meeting with top officials on Russia's Security Council. For his part, the country's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, gave the details of the new document, which states that Moscow will prioritize support for the integration processes within the framework of alliances in Latin America, Africa, Asian Pacific, and Middle East in a pragmatic, non-ideological, and mutual beneficial manner. Well, Russian President Alexander Lukashenko said his country is seeking to develop the development of nuclear weapons and its territory to prepare for the, an invasion from Western countries. During his address to the nation and uh, parliament on Friday, the Belarusian head of state said that Moscow's plans to place the nuclear arms in uh, Belarus will help safeguard the country, which he stressed was under threat from the West and especially from uh, neighboring uh, Poland. On the current circumstances and the military political situation around our country, I strongly activated talks with Russian President Putin about the return of nuclear weapons to Belarus and specifically about the return of nuclear weapons that were withdrawn in the 1990s. I want to defend the Belarusian state and ensure peace for the Belarusian people. My people deserved it with its history, with its whole existence. We don't want to live under the whip anymore, and we will not be slaves. Lukashenko called on the parties involved in the conflict to reach an uh, unconditional ceasefire and to not use it to regroup uh, their forces and uh, improve uh, their position in the battlefield. The Belarus leaders was not optimistic, however, and considered uh, the Ukrainian counteroffensives as a very dangerous step for world peace. We need to stop now, before the escalation, and I'll try to take a risk to suggest to stop fighting. Many, specifically in Russia, can say we already stopped in the Donbas. This is another moment and another situation. Taking into account those conditions, it is necessary to stop fighting. A truce should be declared without the right to move the regrouping of troops from both sides, without the right to transfer weapons and ammunition, manpower and equipment. But as you can hear, there is a lot of talk about counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine. In my opinion, this is extremely dangerous. This is the worst thing that is possible in the current conditions, because it can cross out all hopes for the negotiation process and lead to an irreversible escalation of the conflict. In Italy, the government's privacy watchdog has temporarily blocked the artificial intelligence 
of software that chat the GPT over data privacy concern. Italian Data Protection Authority described its action as a provisional until chat GPT respects privacy. Its measures involves temporarily limiting the company from holding Italian users' data. That which Dark said Chad uh, GPT developed by opening had uh, no legal basis to justify the mass collection and uh, storage of personal data for the purpose of training the algorithm under the lion that the operation of the platform. It afforded a reference uh, at data reach on March the 20th when user conversations and um, pavement information were the compromise, a problem that U.S. Uh, firms blame on a bug. The member countries of the BRICS bloc, uh, that is uh, Brazil, uh, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are the looking into an alternative currency to the US dollar. This statement was made by Russian Damas Vice President Alexander Vavakov at Russian India Business Forum held in New Delhi. Vavakov said that as a first step, they will transition to using their own national currency for international trade, like China and Brazil, announced this past March the 29th. Then they will introduce a digital currency or any other new form for pavement. Telecine English continues to grow. You can now tune in from 33 different African countries through Starsat. They are 461 and join our Latin American alternative broadcast. One financial break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. In New Delhi, India, the death toll after a floor collapse at a Hindu temple had risen to 36,000 of uh, worshippers celebrating a major religious holiday plunging into a well. Esther the Lane Columnate Water serves after the floor the covering it collapsed in the central city of uh, Idore. 17 people were rescued yesterday. 36 bodies have been recovered. Women, children, and an 18-month-old baby were among those standing in the grill covering the, the world when it black and gave away, plunging them into about 7.5 meters on water. Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris arrived in Zambia as the final destination of the three-nation trip to African nations. The U.S. Vice President arrived in Lusaka as part of her work visit to African nations. Harris has scheduled a two-day stay in Zambia and has strengthened bilateral ties. At a joint press conference with President Hakeem Ben Hinshelma, Harris stated that the purpose of her trip is to work to support innovation and they invest in talent for the benefit of the African continent. What is keeping us down for now, Vice President, is the debt overhang. We carry a debt burden that really is making it difficult for us to continue with our restructuring process of the economy. And it's actually beginning to negate on the gains we've already made, such as in the foreign exchange market, and the area we resolve this matter, the better, and we ask for your support. Iran has denounced the frequent ag aggression of Israeli forces against Syria and uh, has uh, called on the world to take actions against these violations of international law. Iran's Foreign Minister Pokman Nasser Kanani regretted the lack of the resistance by the international community in the face of frequent aggressions by the Israeli troops against different points of, in Syria, including civilian airports and residential buildings. He also added that Israel is trying to divert attention from the internal crisis and the division at its regime, as well as its dissatisfaction with Syria's internal strength and recent opening in foreign affairs.
on Thursday, the Ugandan president, Jowari Musevi, said that uh, the 1,000 strong uh, peacekeeping uh, force sent by the country to the Democratic Republic of the Congo will have a stabilized situation in the North Kivu province. The military contingent under the auspices of the African Community Regional Force intends to stabilize the Rush Shuru Goma area in the northeastern region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where rebel group March 23rd movement has been operating against the Congolese government. As every March 31st, today activists, uh, the LGBTQI plus community, and those who advocate for full rights to everyone, celebrates International Transgender Day of Visibility. The day celebrates transgender people is intended to raise awareness regarding the discriminations faced by transgender people worldwide, as well as a celebration of their contribution to the society. The day was found by the U.S. transgender activist uh, Rachel. Crandall in 2009 as a counterpart to the Transgender Day of Remembrance, which mourns the murder of transgender people, but in not acknowledge and celebrate the members of the transgender community. We have come to the end of this brief, but you can find this and many other stories on our website at telesurenglish.net. You can also join us on our socials, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram as well. For Telesur English, I'm from the South, I'm Ana Marrero, and thank you for watching.